Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. I want to start off this video by severely apologizing for my sunburn, messy hair, no makeup. I did yard work yesterday and I totally did not wear any sunscreen. I didn't have any. So I'm sore, but I'm still making a video for you guys. So today, I am going to be showing you guys everything that I eat in a day with all of my snacks, smoothies, drinks, everything. Mostly my drinks today are going to consist of water because you know that's the best thing for sunburn. If you didn't know that, that's a really good tip. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so first up is breakfast and I am making a smoothie. I am going to begin by bringing out my blender. We have the Ninja Blender Pro. And this is honestly my favorite blender I've ever used. Next, I'm going to grab my strawberry banana fruit from the freezer. Then in the fridge, I'm going to be grabbing my aloe juice, and this is in the flavor peach and watermelon. Then I'm grabbing some honey from the cupboard, which adds a bit of sweetness to my smoothie. And then I'm going in the fridge, and I'm going to grab my baby spinach, which is really good to add to your smoothies. And now we're ready to make my smoothie. So I'm going to start by taking the top off the blender. And the first thing that I'm going to put in the blender is the frozen fruit. And it came out in two big chunks, so I had to separate them out. Next, I'm going to be adding in some of the spinach. And then I'm going to be adding in my aloe juice. And this adds so many nutrients to your smoothies. If you haven't tried it, I definitely would. Next, I'm going to be adding in my honey, and I usually do two or three swirls per smoothie just to sweeten it up a bit. And because I thought I needed a little bit more juice, I just grabbed some orange juice and added that in there for that citrusy flavor. Next, we're going to make sure that the button is on, and then we're going to blend it all out and start making our smoothie. Blending, blending, blending. Just want to make sure that there's no chunks of fruit that I wouldn't like in my smoothie. And voila, we have a breakfast smoothie that is packed with some nutrients. It has a citrusy sweet flavor and you guys, the smoothie was amazing. Next up, we have our lunch, which is pretty simple, kind of like a school lunch. So first I'm gonna grab my gluten-free bread. Then I'm grabbing some chicken lunch meat from the fridge. Next, I'm grabbing some baby carrots, and then I'm grabbing orange juice to drink with it. Next, I am going to be grabbing my ranch for my carrots. And then I am also going back to the refrigerator to add my barbecue sauce, which this is a sugar and gluten-free barbecue sauce, if you want it to know. And these are all of the ingredients that's going to be in our lunch. And I also grabbed some sweet potato tortilla chips, which are actually really good. And this lunch is super duper easy to make. And if you are in need for a quick idea, this is perfect for you. It's delicious and nutritious. Last but not least is dinner. This is one of my absolute go-to dinner plans. So first we're going to take out the chicken tenderloins from the fridge, which are completely thawed out. Next, I'm grabbing my lemon pepper seasoning, which made sure that's a gluten-free one. Next, I'm taking extra virgin olive oil, some rice. I just chose white rice. And then I am grabbing some broccoli. I have two heads of broccoli. And the first thing I'm going to do is chop up the broccoli. Then I'm going to put them in my steamer, which already has water underneath it. And if you're going for a more healthier dinner, I would definitely recommend steaming any vegetables that you cook because that's better for you. Next, I'm going to be pouring some water in a different pot and also adding the rice into it. And I personally like to prep all of my different parts of the meal. Next, I'm going to stir it up to make sure everything is evenly dispersed. And for the chicken, I'm going to start off with putting olive oil in the bottom of the pan. And then I'm going to put all the little chicken tenders in there. And I am then going to, I guess, coat them all with a fork, and this helps all the flavors sink into the chicken. This part's definitely time consuming, and you may get tired, but I promise you it will be all worth it in the end because the chicken is so good. 
Next, you want to add your lemon pepper seasoning all over the chicken. The amount depends on your preference, you know, if you want a lot of flavor, if you want little flavor. Yeah. So, I have each of my settings set on 6. You can have them lower or higher. I wouldn't recommend higher. And for the chicken, I generally cook it 8 minutes on each side, which is a total of 16 minutes. And at this point, I had about 3 minutes left when I was making my chicken. So when the chicken is done with its first 8 minutes, you want to flip all of the pieces and then if you need to add a little bit more oil, this is in our placement of nonstick oil. And yeah, that is pretty much our process for that. Everything is cooking, simmering away, it's all looking beautiful. We have the green broccoli, the lemon pepper chicken, the rice. And if you want to add a little bit of flavor to your broccoli, I personally add some black pepper. The chicken is beautiful. It tastes so good, you guys. This is like my favorite part of this meal. I love it. And this is our beautiful meal. And the best part about this is this whole meal literally took 20 minutes. You have broccoli, rice, and chicken, and you made chicken on the stove. It is super easy and delicious. You guys, I just cannot express how delicious this is. Okay guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. And I just want to let you guys know that in today's video, like there were so few items that contained dairy. So this was a mostly dairy free, all gluten free, what I eat in a day and I'm getting better at making more healthy meals, you know, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, smoothies, all that kind of stuff. And that's like the small changes that you guys can make when you do this. And especially the dinner, anyone could eat that and, you know, you could just mention it to them like, hey, this whole meal was gluten free. And, you know, make them have a little fun fact. I even pointed this out to my family because they didn't pay any attention to it. I mean, we eat like that normally, and it was just really cool. I mean, it was simply lemon pepper chicken tenders, steamed broccoli, and white rice. That was it. Yeah, all of these meals are really easy for anyone to make. If you really would like to see more cooking videos or cook with me, anything of the sort, just let me know down in the comments below, and I will definitely make a video on that, even if you guys want to see a gluten-free baking video. Just let me know down in the comments and I will definitely make one for you guys. So without further ado, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.